Hello, it's March 1st, 2015, Future Day. I spent the day looking back to 2012, three years ago, and the first Future Day. The example I've come up with with respect to just how much future has happened over the span of the last three years is 3D printing. When I gave a talk in February 2012 about the future, I made no mention of 3D printing. Uh, and now the question is, okay, what is not going to be 3D printable? Self-driving cars, uh, from a technology perspective, very close. But societally, we are not ready yet for self-driving cars. Head transplant was kind of interesting. It, uh, makes sense. Um, of course there are people who say that this is impossible, that we're not going to be doing head transplants in the future. Uh, but then the possibilitist in you says, hey, it's possible. I don't know. Why is it impossible that they'll be able to perform a head transplant? Maybe not in 2017, but some year beyond that possible. I'm a huge fan of Future Day. I'm going to make this video last to 3 minutes 14 seconds. It's going to be a pie time length video about the future. Because i got to work in pie day. Stem cells. So what that happened with the stem cells is in the hyper, it's all infinite computing and the uh, nanomaterials and the robotics and the synthetic biology and the artificial intelligence and the virtual reality. It's all supercomputing. I mean, it's, it's infinite computing. <laughs> Here on uh, Future Day of 2015. I am making this video last to 3.14. We're almost there. We're, ten, we're going to be... Uh, we, we can use fingers now um, to count down. Ready. And move.